In the context of wills, incorporation by reference occurs when the testator, that is, the person making the will, mentions another document in the will and thereby makes that document part of the will. In Simon v. Grayson, California's highest court considered whether a letter was effectively incorporated by reference into a will. When S.M. Seligson died, the search of his safety deposit box revealed a will, a codicil modifying that will, and a letter. The will was dated March 25, 1932. Paragraph 4 left $6,000 to Seligson's executors, Martin Simon and Arthur Green. Additionally, Paragraph 4 instructed Simon and Green to distribute the money in accordance with a letter that would be found among Seligson's belongings after his death, addressed to them, and dated the same as the will. The codicil to the will was dated November 25, 1933. The codicil didn't make any changes to Paragraph 4 and reaffirmed the original will to the extent that it was unmodified by the codicil. The letter was addressed to Simon and Green, but it was dated July 3, 1933, not the same as the will. The letter explained that the will had left Simon and Green $6,000 and instructed them to pay $4,000 to Esther Cohn. Esther Cohn died a week after Seligson, so her executrix, Blanche Grayson, claimed the $4,000 on behalf of her estate. The residuary legatees under Seligson's will that is, the people receiving any property not specifically left to somebody else, challenged Grayson's claim. Subsequently, Simon and Green filed an interpleader action in California State Court to resolve who was entitled to the $4,000. The trial court found for Grayson, and the residuary legatees appealed to the California Supreme Court.